So, Marvel's 25th movie has just been released. Jesus Christ! As someone who is a Marvel shill, I've been kind of wanting something a bit newer. Does Shang-Chi deliver with that? Actually, mostly yes. In this movie, we're introduced to a different form of martial arts. Not like the standard Marvel Kung Fu, whatever, Jiu Jitsu, whatever they do. It's like actual Kung Fu. And it's like super fun in this movie. The Marvel action is usually pretty alright and fun. Except for you, Loki. And I think this is some of, if not the best action Marvel has ever had. It's super fun in this movie. The plot of this movie is summed up to be the Mandarin's a bad dude, and Shang-Chi knows karate really well. I'm being as vague and simple as I can be. There's a bit more going on with this movie, but that's mostly of it summed up and pretty vague. I think the story is really solid, and I think the new things it introduces to the Marvel Universe are really cool, and it still feels and fits well amongst our already vast universe. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I really don't know a ton about Shang-Chi. There's a lot of Chinese mythology in this movie, and I couldn't tell you how much he's actually involved with Chinese mythology in the comics, uh, or if he's not at all, but like he's there's a lot of Chinese mythology in this movie, and I think it was a huge standout. I really dug it. You know like those old ancient drawings of like lions mixed with like saber tooth tigers? Yeah, the creatures in the movie like look exactly like those drawings. Same thing goes for like all the other creatures that are shown in this movie. I think that stuff is really cool and is interesting and I think they made it to where again it still just fits within our Marvel Universe. Casting as a whole is really good. I apologize in advance because I'm gonna butcher these names so I'm not, I'm not even gonna pronounce most of them but Simu Liu, I think that's how you say it, uh, Shang-Chi, he's like really good. I think he puts on a really good performance and he's very believable as this badass martial artist. Aquafina is also in this movie and she's like the comedic relief. Um, and her jokes don't always land, but I think she's a pretty decent inclusion. One great thing to say is in this movie, when it needs to be serious, it is serious. Like she's not cracking jokes, she's acting like an actual human being during those situations. So I was really happy for that. Sometimes in movies you can have some jokes and moments, but they don't need to be there. Especially in Marvel movies, but I think they used her really well in this movie. Uh, Shang-Chi has a sister, and I think she was a great inclusion in this movie, uh, especially for the story. Uh, there's a really good family dynamic in this movie. Also in this movie, we have the Mandarin. He is not called the Mandarin, but he is the Mandarin from the comics. Uh, I was wondering how they were going to introduce and handle him in the comics. He's a Chinese man with a Fu Manchu mustache, and it's not a good interpretation for Chinese people, uh, and I'm glad they didn't go that way. Uh, and what they did is actually really, really good. I like him as a character and a villain, and he's really just a dad doing what he thinks is right, uh, even though he kind of used to be a huge, big piece of shit, and he has like a really jaded set of morality, and his, his actions have consequences, and if someone had power like him, I'm sure they'd do the same thing. So I thought they did the Mandarin really great in this movie. I was very happy with this interpretation. So, what did I think of this movie? Well, I really liked it actually. I think it's a good way to kick off Phase 4 for the movies in this series. I think it's a pretty good and consistent tone for the story, and I think the story is pretty good as well. Also, most of the action in this is really solid. I was having a lot of fun watching the action sequences in this movie, and like there's a great subway fight scene, there's like a really cool one on a skyscraper, like just, it's really fun to watch. So like this is a new character named Death Dealer. And he's like basically Darth Maul. Like he looks cool and he has a couple of fight scenes and that's really about it. So don't get your hopes up on him. The action in this movie is really cool. Like right up until the very end. Now I'm being as vague as possible because this is spoiler free. Uh, but there's a really nice and interesting conflict in this movie. But then the movie kept adding more conflicts at the very end. Like yeah, there was some slight foreshadowing I guess. But it kind of just took a hard right and threw another like thing at the audience and the characters and I think it just wasn't needed. I think it should have been completely erased from the movie. It was really jarring that the movie went down for a peg. If you've seen the movie, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Other than that, my only other nitpick is the music. Please, movie makers, turn up your damn music. The music was super quiet, and when I could hear it, it was actually kind of exciting. Music makes a movie, but it doesn't work if you can barely hear it. So Marvel, you know, it doesn't have much memorable music, but at least I can usually hear it and it's prominent. Uh, those are my only two nitpicks. It doesn't destroy the movie for me. I still enjoy it. Those two are just really big ones for me. What shines in this is the story, the performance is the family dynamic, and the action, especially the action. It's super fun. Overall, I'm going to give Shang-Chi a 7 out of 10. It's really fun. If you like Marvel, then I believe you're going to have a great time with this just like I did. I know some of you are in lockdown, which really sucks. I'm really sorry, but if you're not, please go see it. Find a way to see it. It is super fun. Before this video wraps, I'm going to give a quick little update about myself and my channel. Uh, I'm now back at college, so my schedule is now set in stone, and it's it's actually a pretty good schedule, so I'm way to work around it. Uh, so I'll be doing more movie reviews. I actually have some ready to roll out soon. 
uh, and some sketch ideas. One setback. Uh, yeah, I have a terabyte um, with all my short films and music and sound effects and YouTube presets, and it's all the terabyte won't turn on. So that's uh, a really big inconvenience, uh, and also really sucks because I actually have bought a lot of VFX packs and they're on that hard drive. So you heard that right. I'm doing everything in my willpower to save the data uh, and the days of content I need from it. So, you know, content might slow down a bit. They'll for sure be one video a month. October is about to be booming. Let me bloody tell you that. October is going to be huge for this channel. Uh, so get ready for that. All right. And anywho, that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this movie review and I will catch you guys later. See ya.